Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjalayamal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Venni. I am happy to meet you in the video lecture on the subject Design of Transmission System. And this is lecture number 6.3. We are going to solve problem in the helical gear design. In the earlier lecture, we discussed the design procedure using the PSG design data book for the helical gear design and we solved two problems in the earlier lecture and here again we are going to continue with the problem solving from Anna University question paper we solved two more problems in this lecture the learning outcome to the student at the end of the lecture the student will be able to design helical gear using PSG design data book so in the university examination the PSG design data book is permitted so you can use it for collecting data and the equations and solve the problem Example number 3, this is appeared, this question appeared in May 2011 question paper. Design a helical gear to transmit 15 kilowatt at 1400 rpm. The speed reduction is 3. Pressure angle is 20 degree. Helix angle is 15 degree. And both gear and pinion are made by C45 steel. Allowable static stress is 180 newtons per millimeter square and the surface endurance stress is 800 newtons per millimeter square. Young's modulus is 2 into 10 power 5 newtons per millimeter square. So, all the uh, data are given, many, many of the data are given. So, it is easy to solve the problem. So, the given data we write down. Power is 15 kilowatt, speed 1400 rpm, pinion speed 1400 rpm, speed reduction i equal to 3, alpha pressure angle 20 degree beta helix angle 15 degree c45 steel with the design compressive stress that is allowable static stress is 180 newtons per millimeter square endurance stress sigma minus 1 800 newtons per millimeter square young small less 2 into 10 power 5 newtons per millimeter square the speed ratio is 3 given in the problem and we take the material so it is given c45 material and the properties are also given here 180 newtons per millimeter square equal to 1800 kilogram force per centimeter square and the endurance stress 800 newtons per millimeter square equal to 8000 kilogram force per centimeter square. So, we require the value uh, with a unit kilogram force per centimeter square for our equations what is available in the design data book. We take a invalid profile pressure angle alpha is also given 20, 20 degree full depth. We calculate the design torque to be transmitted. So, the torque to be transmitted by the helical gear mt equal to 97,420 into power in kilowatt divided by the pinion speed. So, 97,420 into 15 into 1000, 15 divided by 1400 equal to 1043.78 kilogram force centimeter. Then we calculate the design torque. For calculating design torque, we require the KKD value, the load concentration factor and dynamic load factor. Initially, we assume KKD equal to 1.3, then the design torque equal to mt into kkd 1043.78 into 1.3 equal to 1356.92 kilogram force centimeter then we take the young small less it is also given in the problem which is 2 into 10 power 5 newtons per millimeter square which is 2 into 10 power 6 kilogram force per centimeter square then take the psi value 0 0.6 initially b by a equal to 0 0.6 we take the center distance equation for center distance calculation from page number 8.13 a is greater than or equal to i plus 1 into cubic root of 0.7 divided by sigma c design stress whole square into u young small less into design torque divided by i into psi. Substitute numerical values a is greater than or equal to 3 plus 1 into cubic root of 0.7 divided by 1800 square into 2 into 10 power 6 into 1356.92 divided by 3 into 0.6. So, calculating A value, the center distance value should be greater than or equal to 24.43 centimeter. Then we have to calculate the design bending stress. So, for calculating design bending stress, we have to take K sigma value from the data book, page number 8.17, table number 21, 1.2, N factor of safety, table number 20, it is 2 and the endurance limit stress is also given here, 8000 kilogram force per centimeter square and life factor for bending it equal to 1. Then calculating the design bending stress, the equation is there in the page number 
sigma b equal to 1.4 into kbl by n into k sigma into sigma minus 1. So, 1.4 into 1 by 2 into 1.2 into 8000 equal to 4666.7 kilogram force per centimeter square. Then we take minimum number of teeth. So, we take z1 equal to 14. It should be minimum 14 to 20 initially. Then we calculate the virtual number of teeth taking helix angle beta equal to 15 degree given in the problem. zv equal to z1 divided by cos cube beta which is 14 divided by cos cube beta equal to 15.53 and we take form factor from the table number 40 for zv equal to 16, yv equal to 0.295. Then we take this im value b by m equal to 10 initially for our calculation. Then we calculate the minimum normal module. The equation is there in the page number 8.14 table 8. Mn is greater than equal to 1.15 cos beta into cubic root of design torque divided by the design bending stress yv psi m into z1. Substituting numerical values 1.15 into cos 15 into cubic root of 1356.92 divided by 4666.7 into 0.295 into 10 into 14 which is 0.513 centimeter. Now we take the nearest higher standard module from table number 1 page number 8.2 mn equal to 5.5 .5, which is 0.55 centimeter then we calculate the module module equal to mn divided by cos beta which is 0.55 divided by cos 15 equal to 0.569 centimeter and the axial pitch pa equal to pi into mn divided by sin beta which is 3.14 into 0.55 divided by sin 15 equal to 6.67 centimeter the number of teeth on the pinion so, z1 equal to 2a by i plus 1 into m equal to 2 into 24.3 divided by 3 plus 1 into 0.569 equal to 21.47. We take the number of teeth. Next is integer, z1 equal to 22 and z2, number of teeth on the gear. So, 3 into 22 equal to 66. Then we calculate the PCD. So, pitch circle diameter of the pinion, m into z1, 0 0.569 into 22 equal to 12.52 centimeter. PCD of the gear M into Z2, so 0.569 into 66 equal to 37.55 centimeter and the center distance A equal to D1 plus D2 divided by 2, 12.52 plus 37.55 divided by 2 equal to 25 centimeter. Then we calculate the phase width, there are three equations to calculate the phase width of the helical gear, B equal to psi into A 0 0.6 into 25 equal to 15 centimeter b equal to psi m into m which is 10 into 0.569 equal to 5.69 centimeter and b equal to 1.15 pa which is 1.15 into 6.67 equal to 7.67 centimeter then pitch line velocity v equal to pi d1 n divided by 60 which is pi into 0.1252 into 1400 divided by 60 equal to 9.2 meters per second. Then we take the KKD value for our checking and calculate the design torque. K is the load concentration factor which is 1.14 for psi p equal to b by d1 equal to 1.2. 15 divided by 12.52 equal to 1.2. KD is the dynamic load factor. PSD data book table number 15. It is available in the page number 8.16. KKD equal to 1 for IS quality 6 and V equal to 9.2 meters per second. Then we calculate the design torque once again for checking purpose, MT into KKD, so 1043.78 into 1.14 into 1.1 equal to 1308.9 kilogram force centimeter. Then we check the compressive stress, so compressive stress sigma C equal to 0.7 into I plus 1 divided by A into square root of I plus 1 into E into MT divided by IB, which is should be less than are equal to the design compressive stress what we calculated earlier. So, sigma c equal to 0.7 into 3 plus 1 divided by 25 into square root of 3 plus 1 into 2 into 10 power 6 into 1,308.9 divided by 3 into 15 which is 1,708 which is less than 1,800. So, the actual compressive stress is less than the design compressive stress. So, the design is safe. Then we check for the bending stress sigma b equal to 0.7 into i plus 1 divided by a m 
a m n b y into m t design torque the value should be less than or equal to design bending stress. So, substitute numerical value is 0 0.7 into 3 plus 1 divided by 25 into 0 0.55 into 15 into 0.33 into 1,308.9 which is 53.8. So, value is less than very much lower than the design bending stress. So, the design is safe. Now, the data specification of the helical drive what we have desi designed module 5.69 millimeter center distance 20, 25 centimeter number of teeth on the pinion 22 number of teeth on the gear 66 PCD of the pinion 12.52 centimeter PCD of the gear 37.55 centimeter face width 15 centimeter and uh, random 2 FO into M equal to 2 into 1 into 5.69 equal to 11.38 centimeter millimeter Redundant 2 into FO plus C into M. So, 2 into 1 plus 0.25 into 5.69 equal to 14.22 millimeter. Tooth height addendum plus redundant that is equal to 11.38 plus 14.22 equal to 25.6 millimeter. Tip circle diameter of the pinion. Pitch circle diameter plus addendum 12.52 plus 1.138 equal to 13.66 centimeter. Tip circle diameter of the gear, pitch circle diameter plus addendum 37.55 plus 1.138 equal to 38.64 centimeter. So, you write down the design specification of the drive at the end of the problem. So, it will give the due credit for your hard work. The next, next example, example number 4, uh, it was appearing in November 2011 and April November 2005. Design a pair of helical gear to transmit 30 kilowatt power at a speed reduction of 4. The input shaft rotates at 2, 2000 rpm. Take the helix and the press, normal pressure angle as 25 degree and 20 degree respectively. Both the pinion gear are made of steel. Number of teeth on the pinion may be taken as 30. So, this is the minimum number of teeth in the pinion. Z1 equal to 30. So, you write down the given data. Power equal to 30 kilowatt. Speed equal to 2000 rpm. Pinion speed. Speed reduction I equal to 4, beta helix angle equal to 25 degree, alpha pressure angle 20 degree, Z1 number of teeth equal to 30. So, the speed ratio 4, it is given in the problem. The material, it is steel, mentioned as steel, we take C45 as the material for both the pinion and the gear. And torque to be transmitted by the helical gear, so MT equal to 97,420 into power in kilowatt, divided by the pinion speed, so 97,420 into 30 divided by 2000 equal to 1461.3 kilogram per centimeter. Then we calculate the design torque. So, for calculating design torque, we require dynamic load factor and the load concentration factor. We take initially KKD equal to 1.3. So, 1461.3 into 1.3 equal to 1899.69 kilogram per centimeter. Then we take the equivalent tanks modulus for the steel from page number 8.14, table number 9. E equal to 2.15 in 10 power 6 kilogram force per centimeter square and we take psi B by A equal to 0.6 for our calculation and for calculating the design compressive stress for we require CR HRC value these data are available in the page number 8.16 table number 16 CR equal to 55 HRC equal to 230 and life factor for life factor for the gear is 1. So, design compressive stress the equation is there in the page number 8.16, sigma c within bracket equal to CR, HRC, KCL, 55 into 230 equal to 12,650 kilogram force per centimeter square. Then we take the center distance, equation is available in the page number 8.13. So, A is greater than or equal to I plus 1 into cubic root of 0 0.7 divided by sigma c whole square into E into MT divided by I into psi. So, substituting numerical values, A is greater than or equal to I plus 1, 4 plus 1 into cubic root of 0 0.7 divided by 12,650 square into 2.15 into 10 power 6 into 1899.69 divided by 4 into 0 0.6 equal to 8.67 centimeter. So, from the design data book, we have to take the following information, K sigma design concentration factor which is 1.2, N factor of safety which is 2 and the endurance limit we have to calculate using the equation. 0.22 sigma u plus sigma u plus 500. So, for steel, uh, C45 steel, sigma u equal to 7000 and sigma y equal to 3000 kilogram force per centimeter square. 
So, 0.22 into 7000 plus 3600 equal to plus 500 equal to 2800 kilogram falls per centimeter square. And these informations are required to calculate the design bending stress. So, life factor for bending is 1. So, you take the design bending stress equation from page number 8.18. Sigma B within bracket equal to 1.4 into KBL divided by N into K sigma into sigma minus 1, which is 1.4 into 1 divided by 2 into 1.2 into 2832 equal to 1652 kilogram force per centimeter square. The number of teeth and the pinion is given in the problem 30. So, we calculate the virtual number of teeth. Beta is also given as 25 degree. So, virtual number of teeth Z V equal to Z1 divided by cos cube beta 30 divided by cos cube 25 equal to 40.3. Now, the form factor Z V uh, for Z V equal to 40, Y V equal to 0 0.389. And we take psi m equal to b by m equal to 10 for our calculation. Now, we calculate the minimum module. The equation is there in the page number 8.13, table 8. mn is greater than or equal to 1.15 cos beta into cubic root of mt design torque divided by the design bending stress into yv into psi m into z1. So, substituting numerical values, one no, module, normal module is greater than or equal to 1.15 into cos 25 into cubic root of 1899.69 divided by 1652 into 0.389 into 10 into 30 equal to 0.22 centimeter. So, the next higher module from table number 1 is 2.5 millimeter or 2.25 centimeter. Now, we calculate the module m equal to mn by cos beta which is 0.25 divided by cos 25 equal to 0.28 centimeter. We calculate the axial pitch pi equal to pi into mn by sin beta. So, 3.14 into 0 0.25 divided by sin 25 equal to 1.86 centimeter. We take z1, z2 is i into z1, 4 into 30. So, z1 is given in the problem. So, the z2 equal to 120. So, we calculate all the diameter PCD of the pinion d into d equal to m into z1, 0 0.28 into 30 equal to 8.4 centimeter. PCD of the gear D2 equal to M into Z2, 0 0.28 to 120 equal to 33.6 centimeter and the center distance A equal to D1 plus D2 divided by 2, 8.4 plus 33.6 divided by 2 equal to 21 centimeter. We calculate the phase width. We have three equations to calculate the phase width. So, B equal to psi into A, 0 0.6 into 21 equal to 12.6 centimeter and B equal to psi m into m which is 10 into 0 0.28 equal to 2.8 centimeter and B equal to 1.15 into P A equal to 1.15 into 1.86 equal to 2.14 centimeter. We fix the phase width B equal to 12.6 centimeter the higher value. Then we take the calculate the pitch line velocity for our checking. So, V equal to pi d1 n divided by 60. So, pi into 0 0.084 into 2000 divided by 60 equal to 8.8 meters per second. Then we calculate the KKD value, take the KKD value and calculate the design torque, the K load concentration factor from page number 14. It is 1.12 for B by D1 equal to 1.5. KD is the dynamic load factor from table number 15. So, KD equal to 1.1 for IS quality 6 and V equal to 8.8 .8 meters per second. And the design torque we calculate for our designed gear. So, mt within bracket equal to mt into kkd, 1899.69 into 1.22 into 1.1 1 .1 equal to 2549.4 kilogram per centimeter and we check for the design compressive stress. So, sigma c equal to 0.7 into i plus 1 divided by a into square root of i plus 1 into e into mt divided by ib, the value should be less than or equal to design compressive stress. So, sigma c equal to 0.7 into 4 plus 1 divided by 21 into square root of 4 plus 1 into 2.15 in 10 power 6 into 2549.4 divided by 4 into 12.6 equal to 3886.5 which is less than 12650. So, the actual compressive stress is less than the design compressive stress. So, the design is safe. Then check for the bending stress. So, I sigma b equal to 0 0.7 into i plus 1 by a m and b into y v into design torque. The value should be less than or equal to design bending stress. So, sigma b equal to 0 0.7 into 4 plus 1 divided by 21 into 0 0.25 into 12.6 into 0.389 into 2549.4. The value is 346.7 which is less than 1652. 
so the value again actual bending stress is less than the design bending stress so the design is safe and we write down the specification of the drive so module m equal to 2.8 mm center distance is 21 cm number of teeth on the pinion 30 number of teeth on the gear 120 pitch, uh, pitch circle diameter of the pinion 8.4 cm pcd of the gear 33.6 cm face width 12.6 cm addendum 2 fo into m 2 into 1 into 2.8 5.6 mm addendum 2 into fo into c into m so 2 into 1 plus 0.25 into 2.8 equal to 7 millimeter tooth height addendum plus addendum 5.6 plus 7 equal to 12.6 millimeter tip circle diameter of the pinion pcd plus addendum 8.4 plus 0.56 equal to 8.96 centimeter tcd tip circle diameter of the gear pcd plus addendum 33.6 plus 0.56 equal to 34.16 centimeter so these are all the specification of the drive uh, we stop here so thank you for watching so please post your comments on the comments box in the youtube channel so you contact me for any details by using my mail id or whatsapp number so we'll meet again in another video with the two more problems in the helical gear design